Wow, that is a very interesting point. Um, and I think it's a perfect introduction to the topic of today's podcast episode. Hello, I'm Dallin J. Welcome to We're Starting a Podcast. A podcast started because everyone is starting a podcast, so we thought we should too. Now, it has been about three years since our last episode, and if it felt like everyone had a podcast then, that number has definitely exponentially increased. Now, the reason for the delay was it's been pretty hard for Domus and I to line up our schedules. So Domus and I will be starting another podcast on a later date. But in regards to this podcast, we are pleased to have found another great co-host to take his place. And hopefully we are able to keep our schedules synced up so that we don't have this long of a gap ever again. Now, without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce you to the one, the only, Dallin Lucas. Thank you for having me. I couldn't be happier to be a part of this. Um, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that I have my schedule open, that I'll be there when you need me. Um, just make sure that uh, I have enough advance notice because uh, sometimes things pop up and I I don't want to let you down. So, And don't worry, we'll, we'll make some kind of a calendar so that you know when we'll have these episodes and... Yeah. Uh, there's there won't be any confusion so yeah so as we are still actively trying to find what we want this podcast to be about um the last time i asked you to leave some suggestions uh in the comments of the first video and i am checking those right now let's see what you guys had to say Let me refresh it just in case. All right. Um, there's no comments. That's that's fine. Maybe you guys just didn't understand uh, the assignment last time, but that's okay. I I prepared a few more topics for us to go over, um, and uh, I think I think we'll be good. Um, unless you have something to, you have some, you have something to say, Dallin. I mean, yeah. the only, I have something that we could maybe talk about. Um, just recently I saw the announcement that, uh, the government has confirmed that they have found aliens, not just, not just seen U UFOs or UAVs. Um, but they've actually seen aliens and they have them in their possession. Oh yeah, I I think I did see that. I th I think I watched a quick video on it, but uh, maybe you could summarize what happened uh, for those that may not have seen it. I mean, I I've only seen like TikTok clips of it, um, summaries, uh, the ones that are like, I watched this, so you don't have to. Um, so I'm condensing it down just a little bit more than they did, even um, because. I don't remember everything. So, no. <laughs> um, but any, anyway, um, yeah, aliens. They're real, apparently. Um, and uh, the government has been keeping them secret for a while. So, um, I wish they asked more questions. I'm like, what color are these aliens? Um, do they have hair? How tall are they? Um, these are the questions that I want to know, um, but the people in the hearing didn't seem to ask those questions, um, so hopefully there's a part two. Or maybe since they'll see that people are okay with there being aliens, maybe they'll uh, declassify those pictures and we'll we'll see those aliens in, uh, in, uh, in their true form. Um, it's a little awkward, the beginning of a podcast, but that's okay. We're just going to keep things rolling, hopefully be natural, um, and 
and we we've been good friends for a long time and i think once we get over the get over the threshold of maybe a couple episodes we'll be we'll be ready to just knock these out maybe multiple times a week i mean some people do it some people do it um so anyway i have uh something we can talk about it's uh it's a little controversial. Uh, some people, they they think one way or the other, and I want to get your opinion on it. So the question is, do you use big lights or do you use little lights? <laughs> yeah, I have heard that. Um, big lights, little lights. And um, yeah, hold on one, one second. So for those of you who don't know what that means... Um, basically big lights are the lights that are in the ceiling, the big ones that are bright and, uh, kind of like these ones that I have right now, big, big lights. They're above, they light up the whole room. Now, small lights or little lights are like a lamp or just a, a tiny little, um, yeah, a lamp. That's pretty much the only thing I could think of. A lamp, a uh, nightstand. Uh, you get what I'm saying. Um, so what is your opinion on using big lights or little lights? I mean, have we have we not learned from our past mistakes of creating division for no reason? Like some people like tomatoes, some people like tomatoes. Um so, yeah, having another thing to be like, you're a big light person? Oh my gosh. I only associate with little light people. I believe in equal opportunity for all lights. And, I mean, we just have to understand that different people have different preferences. And that is okay. Um, but for me, I like big lights when I'm entertaining, having people over. Um, and then little lights when I'm just trying to chill. So those are my, those are my two. So people are, they're pretty interested in this. So, I mean, uh, maybe it'll get some views cause that's what we're about. Cause that's what, that's what our goal is. We want to have a successful podcast because I mean, this is what people do. They just talk to each other and a lot of the time what they talk about has no importance. But it's just fun listening to people talk. I just, I, yeah, we don't, we don't need more division. Like me personally, I think I use the big lights the most. So a lot of the people, a lot of the, the videos that I've seen online, people are, they're more savvy to the little lights, but I like big lights. I just like to be able to see everything in my house. Um, and then I'll chill when I'm asleep in bed. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty good one. Um, so I just wanted to say how, uh, beneficial podcasting is starting a podcast. It's opened a lot of doors for me, um, from making video content to starting a podcast and, uh, if you start a podcast, that's how you start and you never go back. So that's the purpose of this podcast. Um, so yeah. Now I want to tell you something and I don't know who else needs to hear this, but you are not perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. uh, that really means a lot. That really, that really does mean a lot. So it's, it's uh, good to hear someone else say it. I always, I try to like tell that to myself all the time, but it's, it can be hard. It can be hard. So um, don't, don't be too hard on yourself. Um, we'll get the hang of this. We'll just, this is just a, a practice run. Um, and when we get going, then we'll go flawless and it'll be, it'll be a good time. So don't be too hard on yourself. That's for you guys watching too. 
So I find myself watching a lot of TikTok and um, right now I'm like my algorithm has been trained to show me a lot of family feud stuff. I love that show. Um, that show's great. And uh, I don't <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's just it's just funny like watching the the compilations or even just like people that have they know what the answers are like they if they were sitting down with no stress they would know what the top answers are or have a pretty good idea <laughs> i know um yeah like i'll i'll be like screaming at the screen i'm like hey this is uh this is like clearly the number one answer um but I think that's what's so fun about that show is uh, just it's so simple. The questions are simple. The answers are simple. But the fact that you just have all that pressure and stress from your family being there, um, people are watching you, you got all the lights on you, uh, you got Steve Harvey there cracking jokes, making you look like a fool. Um, no shade to Steve Harvey. He's just doing his job and he does a great job at it and it's funny. Um, but just all that pressure, you just say the most ridiculous things. And I think that's, what's so fun about that show is because when anybody can join in, like you're at home, you know, the answers. And when people say dumb stuff, like naked grandma, like it's funny because like why why did you say that and why was that the first thing to to pop out of your mind um but it's funny i'm not saying that i would be any better but i would love to be on that show um if anything just to have a video on youtube go viral because of something stupid that i said because most likely i'm going to say something stupid <laughs> so i feel you on that one i feel you but yeah, my, my algorithm on TikTok, that's pretty much, that's all I see. Uh, my, my TikTok feed hasn't been with that, but, um, but I, I kind of wish it was, maybe I should search and kind of trick the algorithm into giving me more of those videos. Um, yeah, mine has been a lot more movie focused, um, and I haven't been reviewing movies recently, even though I've seen a few. I won't say what they are because I don't want to be stricken. Not that I'm going to try to be in the Writers Guild or the Actors Guild in my life. But you just you just never know. So I don't want to burn that bridge yet. Um, but yeah, I've seen some movies. And I have some thoughts, but I'll save those Um until a later date and um i hope the the writer strike gets resolved soon because i don't want my shows and movies delayed any longer um but also i don't want ai to take over and make everything um that we watch and view and and do um I feel like that's not going to be, um, I mean, it'll be successful in the beginning, but I think it'll just get so oversaturated that people will be bored of it and people won't, there won't be the community anymore that a lot of these movies and TV shows like bring. If everyone's just watching their own uh, TV show, that's starring all um, John Cena or whatever. Um, they're yeah, they'll be able to talk about it. It'll be funny, but like I don't know. Just there's just something about that community of going to the movie theater, um, talking about the movies and TV shows, like with coworkers. That I don't know. It's just it's fun. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm worried that AI is going to take away that fun. Um, yeah, it, it's it'll be something that'll be fun and niche in the beginning, but 
we don't need more isolation. Um, I think it'll just make people, I think, more divided. People are going to be like, well, the stuff I input into the AI, like those shows are way better than the stuff that you input. Um, and it's just, <laughs> it'll be funny um, to, to see what people's um, niche niche interests are going to be um, with the shows that they want to watch or create. Um, yeah. I've heard a lot of crazy things like people want to redo the last like couple of, uh, last couple seasons of game of Thrones. Um, <laughs> some people want to have game of Thrones recasted and have it be just all Seinfeld the whole time. Um, uh, I mean, that'd be fun. That'll be funny for a little bit. Um, but it'll get old really quick. Uh, and it'll probably make people want to go to the theaters even more um, to see what real people are making. Um, most likely, like stage, like theater, like like Broadway stuff, like that. I think that'll have a a renaissance. Not that it's gone away um, right now, but I think more people will be interested in seeing live theater. Um, the more we have. AI driven entertainment. So you got good, you got bad, but what are you going to do? Um, we'll, we'll see. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully the writers and actors figure something out to make them happy. But I still think there's going to be, there's going to be plenty of content that'll be universal that everyone will watch. Um, but I worry that, this AI side will just be a little, a little too much. So yeah, I don't, I don't know much about it. So I don't want to talk too much about it because my opinion doesn't really matter. Um, but what I do know about is being thirsty. So have you ever been thirsty? I do get thirsty. I yes, do. of course. Everyone gets thirsty. Oh, yeah. um, and you know what the best way to demolish that thirst None other than liquid death. It's not focusing. Come on. We focus. We focus. Come on. Hey. There we go. There we go. Okay. None other than liquid death. Sparkling water, carbonated artesian water. And, uh, yeah, so I, I get thirsty and, uh, I like to, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. We're good. So yeah, I get thirsty and, uh, you know what this, this really does, uh, it quenches my thirst. That's good. That's really good. You have one too if you uh you want to try it. Uh, have you ever had it? Wow, that's actually really good. It tastes like water. Yes, it's very good water. And uh now it's in larger cans. So now if you're extra thirsty, this liquid death has you covered. Um, this one in particular is sparkling liquid death. Um, I, I like sparkling water. Some people call it spicy water. I'm in Utah. So yeah. Um, so yeah, liquid death. So don't be thirsty ever again. Yeah. I think I'm a fan of spicy water. So yeah, liquid death, murder, your thirst. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this next topic is something I'm really excited to try. 
um, because I see That's a lot stuff. of podcasts that are about this and they get really popular. Um, and these ones are about financial freedom and making money. These are really popular, really popular podcasts. Um, so, uh, could you, could we do something like that? I don't know. I've, I've seen quite a bit of these financial gurus and, uh, the stuff that they, uh, they talk about on their podcasts. So, I mean, I'm not really a financial guru, but who really is, you know? Okay. Um, I think I, I got something. I got something. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Let's, uh, let's hear it. I mean, that's what this podcast is about. Trying stuff. Um, here we go. Now, a lot of people, when they get older, they don't have enough money, especially the millennials. They don't have enough money and they don't want to work. Now, what you're going to want to do is by the time you're 30, you're going to have 10 houses. You need to buy 10 houses by the time you're 30. You got that? And... You will rent these houses out and every month you will increase the rent by 10%. You got that? Increase the rent by 10% every single month. This way you will have 10% more money every month. And with 10 houses, that's 100% more money every month. Because 10% times 10 is 100%. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and yeah, so with that 100% that you're going to be getting, you're going to want to buy 30 more houses and rent those houses out too. This is what I did. This is what I did before I was 30. So keep, keep. Keep this in mind. I did this. You can do this too. So it isn't some mystical secret that, uh, that this can be done. No, this is something that I did and you can do it too. I'm 75 years old. So when I did this, it was just as hard as it is for you kids today. So don't, don't give me none of that BS that, that uh, inflation and all that stuff. You can still do this today. I've seen people do it. I've seen people. So you you buy 30 more houses and yeah, you, you rent them out. And remember my saying, increase the rent by 10% every single month. That way you'll have more money every month than you did the last month. So you can pay off all those houses so you can buy more houses. Okay. And all you have to do now, here's, here's the real, the real trick. This is what a lot of people don't want to do. Here's the real trick. What you got to do is not buy. Dang it. The light turned off. That's okay. Now, what you're going to want to do is, dang it, I lost my train of thought. And this is, yeah, this is the thing a lot of people don't want to do. And that is, you need to stop buying Starbucks coffee every single day. If you do that, you will have enough money by the time you're 30 to buy 10 houses. And then once you buy those 10 houses then you can buy 30 more houses after you turn 30. Um, oh, wow, the spicy water's kicking up. I'm about to burp. Um, now, you might be saying, but what if I never buy Starbucks but still don't have enough money to put a down payment on a house? Well, that is just simple. 
just start a financial freedom course like I did and teach people outdated information. This is the key. Teach them outdated information and even write books on the same topics. But you got to sprinkle in a little like real information in there, like little nuggets so that you have something to back your nonsense up. Like you just got to have enough truth in there so that people will, will pay for your, your services. And, uh, so yeah, you'll, you'll make these books, you'll create these courses and, and people will come in hordes and they will pay for that information. And then you will be able to start building your generational wealth. So I did this. You can do this too. No, no more BS. Like you, if you just pull up your bootstraps, stop eating avocado toast, you know, the drill, you too can have financial freedom. That's all you got to do. That's it. And I, I, I'm surprised that people, more people aren't trying to do this. I, I don't get it. I really, I truly don't. I truly don't. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, maybe maybe we can't do something along those lines, but I like the sentiment. Maybe we'll come back maybe we'll come back to that one. So, um thank you for sharing. That was fantastic. Um So, I know that you have a passion for shoes. Um, and another controversial pair of footwear is the Crocs. Um, do you like them? Yeah, I do. I do like Crocs. They're pretty cool. Um, they, they, they're comfortable. Um, they, they kind of grew on me. Um, it wasn't something I always wanted to have, but they're, they grew on me. So I have a pair and they are actually really comfortable. I don't have the basic Crocs, like the, the like standard Croc. They're, they're a different uh, model of it, but I don't remember what it's called exactly, but they are really comfortable. They're a little more squishy than the normal ones. And I do, I, I, I like how you can put the little gibbets in them. Those, those are really fun. So yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's very true. And so also, um, are there any, new pairs of shoes that you've recently gotten that uh you've been dying to tell us about because i know you you've made lots of shoe unboxing videos but you haven't made one in a while so is there a shoe that you've got that you haven't revealed yet on camera yeah um i do have a pair um let me get them right now i'll just show you the one um these whoa i don't know if you can see it in the camera those are sweet spider verse air jordan ones if you saw across the spider verse these are the shoes that miles morales wears for a split second at the end of the second movie so i i really wanted to get these shoes um mainly because i've been trying to get Air Jordan ones, the Chicago colorway for a long time. But then I saw people wearing the lost and found version. And I was like, I don't think that's my style. Um, but these ones, these ones are really, these speak to me. These, this is like, this is my style and it's my style mixed with the Air Jordan one Chicago and I was super excited to to get these ones and uh I haven't worn them yet um waiting for a special occasion I was gonna I didn't get them until after I saw the movie that's what made me want them even more is seeing them in the movie so yeah um those are those and uh no I don't care about creases that's a question I get asked often is it's like, are you worried about getting creases on your shoes? And no, I'm not worried at all. Okay, cool. 
What else? What else do we got? So, um, I was thinking about it. Like one thing that we can do to hopefully get some traction to this podcast is <clears throat> saying something controversial. Um, I think that really, that really gets people. Um, even if you don't believe what you're saying, um, you can still just say it so that it gets people talking and engagement is what podcasting is all about. And the more engagement you get, the more, uh, followers and money, um, you get, um, of course, like you don't, you don't want to have like this bad aura around you unless you're just trying to get money, uh, which a lot of people do. Um, but yeah, saying something crazy. Do you have any, do you have anything crazy you can say that'll get us to go viral? <laughs> okay. Um, and, and it can be anything like, okay. Controversial. Now, of course, these aren't my actual views for those of you watching, but maybe I'll clip this part to be a viral video so that people will really be like, oh, how dare he say that? Um, so, but anyway, here we go. Um, please don't cancel us. That was just a joke. Yeah. And, uh, we're just trying to go viral. So, yeah. Um, mm, that is, uh, so yeah, I think, uh, that is uh, controversial. I think that's controversial enough. Um, so what would be a good hook to start this episode out that will get people interested to keep watching, you know? Yeah, that's true. We do need, we do need like an intro hook to really grab people's attention. Um, how about you just say, wow, that is an interesting point. And that would be the perfect introduction to the topic of today's podcast episode. Wow. That is, how's that sound? Okay. I want to be a little more relaxed on this one. Wow. That is a very interesting point. Um, and I think it's a perfect introduction to the topic of today's podcast episode. All right. That is all we have for today. Uh, just would like to thank Dallin Lucas for being the new co-host and my partner in crime. Yeah, I am super excited. Um, glad we have Liquid Death sponsoring us today. I'm excited for people to see this episode and see where it took us. And I'm excited to see where we go in the future. Okay, I think this is yeah, this is a pretty good one. So stay tuned. Dallin is awesome. I'm Dallin J. And this is We Are Starting a Podcast. Peace.